Hello, YouTube Nation. Um, today's video is once again another video I'd like to put and add and share due to the government in our state. Now, for the people that voted for Governor Duval Patrick to do another four years in our great state of Democrats, um, I hope you all get a broken leg or something or an arm or you fucking have a fatal bike crash or something. I hope you just drop on the fucking ground and scrape your face. Maybe you can get a terrible rash down below there in the area of the, you know, vicinity of... Well, you get the picture. I hope you get a horrible rash all through your body. You know, not only does this guy raise taxes, raise gas, raise food, uh, so you can't even enjoy to go out and take a, you know, meal outside your house once in a while for a treat or something, you know. Now we have this fucking piece of shit killing kids, pretty much letting kids die in our great state of Massachusetts. Not only does this guy fund legal immigrants, illegal immigrants to go to school, illegal immigrants you know, now to, they're going to try, I don't know if it went through yet, but help them get a license? No, ain't they supposed to come in this country, pay the toll and the price, just like everybody else to be legal, but no, fund them to get their license now. Oh, they're going to drive anyways. No, you know what? You better... Yeah. I know you don't care, Mr. Duval, because this is your last fucking year in office. You know, not only did Jeremiah Oliver, the big case, come out. After that, we get a kid shooting another kid under DCF care. Now the little brother's dead. We get... Two babies now, another one in Fitchburg, I may add, dead. You know, I'm going to repeat myself on that again. You hear it all over the news. You're going to hear it from me, too. Two babies, gone. Didn't even see the friggin' later day infants at that. You know, if you weren't funding these fucking illegal immigrants... To go to school, just like even for preschool and all these other schools, that kids like mine, my kids must not matter to you either. Because the funding for that school, you cut too. But don't cut them illegal immigrants off now, will you? No. Don't take that money also, not only to fund schools, but to fund more social workers as they're complaining they don't make much. They're overstocked on cases. You know, I don't know how more fucking pathetic you gotta get. You, Mr. Duvall, back in, what, 2006? I don't know, a few years ago. I don't care what year it was. You're a fucking scumbag anyway. You bought yourself a big old Cadillac. You know? Big old Cadillac. SUV, may I add. You got office chairs bought sitting in a back office somewhere in your fucking building waiting. What, what is that? For your Olga Roach, I don't want to call her Roach, she's a Roach, Roche, I don't want to call her Roche, she's a fucking Roach, cockroach. Is that for her fat ass, in case she breaks the chair, or any of your fat employees you have in there, in case they break a chair, they have another one extra. 
You know, you talk about obesity and half the women and people that I see in your office are fat. Why ain't you on them to get exercise? You know, we know you the governor. You got to look good because, you know, you got to go flirt around with women and stuff and make it look good in the end. You know, right? Am I right? You might be married. We know you look like a fucking player too. Fucking piece of shit. How many more kids got to die under your last year here in Massachusetts before you step up? Before you... And you even said it yourself. Oh, I'm in charge around here. You're in charge. You ain't been in charge since the day you stepped in that fucking office. You just been fucking torturing people your own self. You love to see the poor suffer like me. Hell, even the state check of mine got fucking ringed out of my ass. Because, oh, we need to see your expenses. We need to see what you've been doing for work. You know, I've been doing the same work for fucking three years. At least I'm doing it legal, not illegal. I want to do my taxes. I want to pay my Uncle Sam. But you, motherfucker, with your bullshit and your fucking crap. You know, I'm dating and documenting my stuff. And this year, you know, you, you, you fucking ain't gonna get over on me again. I better get my fucking state check back that you kept fucking $598, hey, which ain't a fucking pot to piss in, to tell you the truth. You can't even spare 598 bucks. No, you made $79. That's what you give me for a check. Wow. Is that, is the state that hard up for money that if someone... You know, don't give, uh, you know, I got my receipts and I sent them in, but if someone don't send them in, you're going to fucking ring them an asshole, take their money and check and keep it too? Is that how you run up there, Mr. Duval? You fucking piece of shit. Can't stand you. I'm not racist. I got billions of fucking friends of Puerto Ricans, you know, blacks. Laotian, Chinese, Japanese, I got all kinds of friends. And I'm not racist on this fucking behalf. I'm not, I'm not racist. I can't, I, but I hate your fucking guts. I hope you get a bad fucking disease or something, motherfucker, because you suck. You suck. You let kids die. You let illegal immigrants come on in. And you fucking fun, which is, you know, kind of... Kind of a good thing you let other states come in and live off of, uh, of us for free. But then if that person's a child molester like was been reported or... What? Did I just say child molester? Yes, I did. Oh, shit. You let a child molester on, in the, on our free care because he went homeless. Boy... I'm sure this can go on and on and on and on. I'm sure this can go so far to the fucking down the Charles River. And that you ain't got enough boats to fucking fill that river up with the bullshit you fucking had going on in eight years, pal. Oh no, you can fill up that river. And, <laughs> man, I'm, I'm just speechless and speechless. Kids die under your care. And and now, now I want to go on one more thing. I read the statistics on the Internet of how many kids died in the state of Massachusetts. Now, Miss Olga Cockroach, cunt, you said has been doing this for 30, or one time you said 33 years of services to the Department of Children's and Family, DSS, but 
how does one with 33 years of experience, 30 years of experience, let 95, I believe it was, kids die in the state of Massachusetts since 2001? 95 kids. Well, there's another statistic, huh? 95 fucking kids die within your state under ogre, cockroach, cunt fuck. 95 kids. Shouldn't you guys have stopped at three and put the hammer down on the nail? Or even one, you know, one. It shouldn't be even three. It should have been maybe one. Or this kid dead. What the fuck if I know if I was in charge? I mean, you know how this kid died? You know, I'd be all over the office and over here, over there. I'd be like, I'm going to fucking stop the press. You know what? If I was in charge of a fucking governor, you know what? All illegal immigrants would have been tossed out the fucking door. Oh, here's your pay for your schooling funds. <laughs> over here we have dead people. Oh, fuck them dead people. Let's give the funds over here. Hey, I'm going to raise the taxes this month. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, everybody should not mind paying an extra buck when they go out to eat. No, shit, yeah, fuck you, you piece of shit. Man, 95 kids. I should have stopped after one kid. If I was governor, I would have freaking went all I would have Holger Roach. I would have been over to this one. You know what? What the fuck is going on in here? Why is a kid then under our supervision? I don't care if the person don't answer the fucking door or answer the phone. You fucking demand or go there. We need to get in. We need to check. That's the bottom line. Because you know what? I'm under DCF and DSS slash, you know, people don't know what DCF is. I'm under their care right now. Mm-hmm. And I can guarantee and tell you they've been up my fat hole. Now, how does one, with a small, stupid case like mine, just, you know, smarting up kid, get turned around into some violent, oh, this person said me and my son got into a fight, altercation or something with a physical nature, I got an neglect on all my kids. I got a serious charge of abuse, physical abuse on one kid. And all I did was, like, back in the day, and I'm sure Deval, your mother probably might have done it to you when you were younger. The spot up, boy. What the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm sure you, like any other kid, oh, I don't want that to happen again. Gee, who, way? yeah, mother, mother. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, right? I and mean, you, you little kiss-ass fucking bald-headed bastard. And I can tell you, probably, maybe you didn't get smacked around when you were a kid. You are kissing your mother's ass all your fucking life, right? Oh, man, I just don't know. You know what, 95 kids, 2001, and it took up till Jeremiah Oliver to bang the fist down on the table and demand why is everything happening now. That's fucking sick. That's sick. It took Jeremiah all of his death to fucking come out with all DCF under fire. <laughs> You're a fucking joke. The whole fucking government in the Massachusetts on the Democrat side is a fucking joke. And I'm sure Miss Olga fucking Cockroach is a fucking Democrat too. Sick. It's sick. It's fucking sick. Man, my kids got to get delayed at school or out of school early or miss out on this and miss out on that. And teachers have the special right needs to teach. But you can let a kid die. You can let illegal immigrants come in here and live off us for fucking free taxpayer. I pay my fucking taxes too and I'm self-employed. I get my money taken back anyways and you let these fuckers get everything. School. Oh, they get school and my kid gets kicked out early. 
Why don't you kick them out early? Why don't you fucking goddamn make them go get a real job? Why don't you go get a citizenship the real way and get back in that fucking line and wait just like everybody else to get free school? Everybody else is waiting, just wants to do it legally. You, Duvall, you won't do that until you're out of office. And God fucking help me. Oh, God, if you run for president. Oh, man. I'm going to have dead babies across the fucking country, but you'll let the fucking illegal immigrants come on in here and do what they want. They can kill our people, too. Run car accidents, get drunk off their ass. Ah, tequila, tequila, you know. Oh, my fuck word, man. If you become president, I'll cut an ass cheek off. Man, I'm telling you. If you people across the, this fucking United States elect that man for president, you're the biggest piece of shit scumbag just like him. Oh, I hope he doesn't run. Letting babies die. Letting kids, 95 kids die. Do you want that running your country? Your U.S. of A? Oh, man. I guess it's a... <laughs> You people put votes in for that, boy. And I hope you all get a fucking rash all over your body and you can't stop fucking itching. Keeps you up all night. It never goes away. Shit. Fucking disgusting. But I just wanted to get some of them points out. Facts out. You know, shit like this can't be overlooked. One governor's office sitting there with his fucking office chairs, about a thousand office chairs, waiting to get used, waiting for that fat Olga Roach to break it as she sits down, and he'll come running in with the chair. Oh, Olga, sorry for breaking your chair. Here, here's a new one. Been sitting all back <laughs> on the taxpayer's money. Look at me drive away in my new Cadillac. I got a new Cadillac that I can trade in later on, too, for a newer one later on down the line because of my great job that I do. You does that, man? I can go on all day talking about you, Duvall, and how much of a fucking piece of shit turn. You look like one, too, just dropped out of an ass with that bald head. You know what, dude? You better fucking pray and hope that another kid don't die under your administration from here on out, pal. Because that's going to label you as the biggest piece of shit in the fucking world. I mean, you, you can. And sometimes, yeah, there's something that happened that ain't here, ain't your fault. But, hey, you're running the show here, buddy. And I hope to God another kid don't fucking die under your supervision. This is fucking disgusting. You better get your fucking head out of your ass and fucking take some responsibility of what you don't know. I wish I could run for governor on your ass, because I would have fucking put you out of office a long time ago. You dumb fucking idiot. And that's for the world to think of what we got running here and there's, this, there's all these facts on him and what he's done in the past and, man. I even think he did his office over. I think he did his office over and we posted it with curtains and all the lovey-dovey little shit. Oh, make it look homey, roomy. You know what? That ain't your fucking office, motherfucker. You're just like Barack Obama. Well, we're going to do the office over. Why don't you just leave it the way it is? Unless it's dirty, stained, or, or ruined from age. I'm just going to leave it where it is. You ain't going to be in that office forever. It ain't your fucking permanent home. You get booted out after eight years or whatever you're fucking running, yeah. What the fuck, man? If I was in there, I wouldn't be changing nothing. I'd leave the fucking history there like history is supposed to be left there. Maybe of a fucking governor or president that made it look good. And I can't believe the president's letting this go on by, swept under the carpet. If I was president, I'd be up this governor's ass telling him, Hey, you... Oh, and well, let me just throw one more in before I shut this down. The little girl, teenage girl, the people from Connecticut come up here and bring their daughter to the children's hospital. 
and they take it away. And you know what? DCF didn't even look at that family, didn't even meet the family. They just take the kid that's in neglect. Who the fuck does that? Duvall. You don't even go in and meet these people. They, they've been on Dr. Phil and everything. I see these people. They look like humble, you know, gentle souls. And they had an out-of-control kid. And they take her. You take her. And this is a doctor. They're going to stick by their ruling because they are doctors and they got degrees. Yeah. Sometimes, you know what, doctors do a little miss malpractice because they want the fucking money and insurance from you, Mr. Duval, or the person who has it. But they don't want, they, they oh, they're going to stick by their words. Some of you doctors are fucking crooked. Nope, you both burn all. Whoever did this diagnosis on this poor little girl, now she's suffering without a family. And now I think what they say, she's paralyzed or something. If that's the truth, I think I gotta look up a little more on this, but I can't watch it sometimes because it just clogs up the throat, tear up, you know. Oh, geez, another kid away from a family. And this family is just a fucking ordinary looking like modern family living their lives. They look calm. I can tell people that are fucking mentally insane because I've lived with them throughout my life, pal. So <laughs> I got a little street smarts, which you probably don't even have. You go read your books of knowledge because your books of knowledge don't put you on the street with the fucking mentally insane, with the fucking illegal immigrants that are going to kill you next because they're drunk off their ass. And they shut the fuck don't put you in a place where your kid can't go to school. And you got to take them home and that kid's got nothing to do now. And then when you, you know, oh man, I tell you. I think I better get off this thing before I have a fucking heart attack. Because Duvall, you just suck. You need to resign now with Olga Roach. Cocker Roach? Right. YouTube Nation, I thought you would like to know all this. Keep you up to date out there if you haven't got the news yet on any of this or haven't, you know, I know sometimes nobody looks up on this, but if you do, you're looking up on something else too, and this is just driving me nuts. And I gotta fucking live here. Getting my money taken from the state? I can't even get a work truck now. Thanks a lot, Duvall. I can't even go half. I'm living off a fucking disability check from my kid, for Christ's sake, because I can't work, because you took my money back. Thanks a lot, man. YouTube Nation, I guess that's it. Till the next video, you all have a big salute. <laughs> the ball, let me wipe my ass here and throw it. You go eat my shit. Out.